Markets bounce back green heading into the weekend. I'm Darren, and this is three things you need to know for Friday, February the 2nd. Walmart announced that it is creating 150 new stores and remodeling 650 more. The timeline of the remodels will run for the next year. The new stores will be more modern and be built over the next five years. Walmart also made big news when it announced superstore managers could make as much as 400000 Yesterday, I reported about New York Community Bank's problems. Now a Japanese bank, Azora, is having problems with U.S. commercial property, which might lead to a March 31st year-end net loss. The drug maker Biogen will stop selling its Alzheimer's treatment, Aduhelm. This drug got a lot of attention a few years ago when it was first introduced. Biogen also says that it will end its studies on the drug. How much was it when it first came out? Eh, only 56000 a year. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Teen depression. A lot of kids are dealing with it today. So what's behind it? A relationship goes bad. Getting bullied. Maybe there's no reason at all. Whatever's behind it, teen depression can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to stay that way. If you're feeling off your game right now, it's time to jumpstart your comeback. Time to take charge and take the first step. Visit yourlifeyourvoice.org. Make your move. Password Wars. Caroline writes, Streaming services have become an integral part of our daily lives. The convenience of accessing a vast library of content at our fingertips has revolutionized how we consume movies, TV shows, and more. However, a new wave of change is sweeping through the streaming industry as platforms crack down on the widespread practice of password sharing. The financial impact to these streaming services has been substantial as they have lost potential revenue from users who would otherwise be paying for individual subscriptions. Last year, Netflix cracked down on password sharing by requiring freeloading viewers to open their own account or allowing a subscriber to pay an $8 monthly fee to allow people living in different households to watch Netflix. The company has since seen an increase in new subscribers, including 13.1 million new subscribers in the fourth quarter last year. And that is in addition to the 8.76 million new paid memberships that Netflix reported in the third quarter. Also this week, Netflix reported fourth quarter net income of $937.8 million, or $2.11 per share, versus $55.3 million, or $0.12 a share, in the prior year period. With these impressive numbers, other streaming platforms are looking to update their policies and tiers in hopes of being as profitable as Netflix. One example is Disney+. Plus. In August 2023, Disney CEO Bob Iger announced plans to increase the fees on their streaming services in October 2023. Then, in November 2023, Disney Plus updated their Canadian subscriber agreement to say that users could not share a subscription outside their household unless permitted by their account tier. As of this week, it appears that this policy has made its way to the United States. Disney has updated the language on its three streaming platforms to limit password sharing outside of a user's individual account. In an email to subscribers sent Wednesday, Disney-owned Hulu said it would begin limiting account sharing for prior and existing subscribers starting March 14th, with the changes effective for new subscribers as of last week. Disney Plus and ESPN Plus have both updated their user agreements to reflect the changes to account sharing, though it was not clear when these changes occurred. Iger said, We certainly have established this as a real priority. We actually think that there's an opportunity here to help us grow our business. His goal is to have Disney streaming services to be profitable by the end of 2024. To Mr. Iger's point, streaming services argue that cracking down on password sharing is essential for maintaining a sustainable business model. The costs associated with producing high-quality content continue to rise, and these services rely on subscription fees to fund their original productions. By preventing unauthorized access, streaming platforms can continue to invest in creating engaging content for their subscribers. Yet while streaming services justify their actions, some users have expressed dissatisfaction with the crackdown on password sharing. Critics argue that sharing passwords is often a way to introduce friends and family to new content, potentially leading to more subscribers in the long run. Some streaming platforms have made sharing more difficult from the onset, such as Amazon linking a Prime Video account to one person's credit card or Apple TV Plus requiring an Apple ID during login. What streaming service may be next to jump on is this trend. In the future, the streaming industry will likely see a blend of innovative security solutions and user-friendly measures to strike a balance between protecting revenue and providing a positive user experience. Stop watching and start living using PIPs, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Get it, slip it, cuff it, check it. Talk to doctor now and share it.
Nearly one in two U.S. adults have high blood pressure. That's why it's important to self-monitor your blood pressure in four easy-to-remember steps. It starts with a monitor. Be next to talk to your doctor about your blood pressure numbers. Get down with your blood pressure. Self-monitoring is power. Visit ManagerBP.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the American Heart Association, and the American Medical Association. In partnership with the Office of Minority Health and Health Resources and Services Administration. Pips. Pick of the day. And it's fall down Friday. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible downtrend for Molina Healthcare, Inc. That's M-O-H. It's headquartered in California, and they deal with the provision of Medicaid, Medicare, Marketplace, and other. It closed Tuesday at $355.21, 52-week high of $391.21, and a 52-week low of $256.19. We are not financial advisors. Please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.